Welcome back to Maths with Mr Duffield. Another question asked by one of my GE on a past IGCSE exam on, um, on this non-right angled triangle. Got an angle here, three side lengths. Let's read out the question. Diagram shows triangle ABC. Length AB is 2x plus 1 centimetres. Length AC is 2x minus 1 centimetres. And length BC is 2 root 7 centimetres. Angle BAC here is 60 degrees. I've been asked to work out the value of x, showing clear algebraic working. It's going to be advanced trig. It's going to be trig involving an on-right angle triangle. Question is, is it the sine rule? Is it the cosine rule? Well, we've got an angle here. We have all three side lengths. No other angles. That means it's going to be the cosine rule. Okay, and and the way the way around it's going to be is I'm going to use well let me label up these side lengths first. I'm going to use this side length as the main kind of equals, and then the rest these two side lengths and the angle between them as the rest of my information. Okay, let me write up what I mean. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus two B C cos angle A here. Okay? Where A is here, B is here, C is here, and then angle capital A is obviously here. It's just a case of substituting all of this in and seeing if an equation appears that I can solve to work out what X is. So let's begin. A is 2 root 7. That's what's being squared. B is 2x minus 1 squared plus C. 2x plus 1 squared minus 2 times B times C times A, which is, uh, or co times cos, sorry, of A, which is 60. All right. Now, the rest of this question is literally going to be spent simplifying all of this algebra, forming an equation, and, um, and solving for x. All right? Immediately, I'm um, having typed it in. Because 60 is a half, I can effectively consider that as 0 0.5. 2 being in front of all of this effectively cancels out, halves that 2 to 1. So this is just going to become minus 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1. The, the rest is really just expanding and, and, and simplifying all of this algebra. If I square 2 root 7, I get 28. 28. 2x minus 1 squared is 4x. Sometimes I like uh, putting in the second bracket there so, just so I can physically go through the FOIL expansion. 2x and 2x is 4x. That's minus 2, that's minus 2, minus, excuse me, 4x squared minus 4x plus 1. And then again, similarly over here, 2x plus 1 squared is 2x plus 1 times 2x plus 1. That's 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. We've already discussed how cos 60 is a half, so effectively cancels out that 2, halving it to just 1. That'll make minus, and I've got to be careful about this, all of this expansion, 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1, is being subtracted from from what I've got in front of me here. So I'm going to leave that minus sign here and just put the expansion of this 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1 in this bracket. 4x squared plus 2x minus 2x, nothing, minus 1. Okay? Now, I need to keep that minus there because effectively I can think of this as a minus 1 in front of this single bracket. Minus 1 times 4x squared makes minus 4x squared, and then minus 1 times minus 1 makes plus 1. That's effectively um, part of the next line of work that I'm going to fill in here. 4x squared plus 4x squared, 8x squared, minus 4x plus 4x, right, that cancels, it leaves, leaves nothing, and then 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, so having considered all of these parts. That's what all of this simplifies to. And then I've got a minus 4x squared plus 1 on the end of this line as well. You know what, I might as well just move that across so that it's slightly easier to see. Okay, next line of work is just going to be to simplify 
this even further. 8x squared take away 4x squared is 4x squared plus 3 equals 28. Yeah, taking away uh, 3 from both sides makes 25 equals 4x squared. Dividing both sides by 4, 25 divided by 4 equals x squared. And then square rooting both sides. So to square root a fraction like this, the square root of 25 over 4, well, that is the same as the square root of 25 divided by the square root of, of 4. That is 5 over 2. Okay? Forgive my hesitancy earlier on. I was expecting a more full quadratic to be formed, but it looks like it isn't going to happen um, on this question, which is good news. Keeps things simple. And again, let's think about um, the single value of x that could arise from this. Uh, 5 over 2 is um, the single answer to this question. All right? 5 over 2. You can write that as 2.5 or 2.5 if you like. Um, and the reason it isn't going to be negative when we square root these is because, as a reminder, I'm dealing with lengths here. Usually, when I'm dealing with lengths and unknown algebraic terms, um, anything that's negative could potentially uh, make these lengths negative overall. For instance, 2x minus 1. If I substitute in minus 5 over 2 into 2x minus 1, it's going to make that length negative, which doesn't make any sense. So for that reason, I've got to take the positive value of the square root of 25 over 4, which makes 5 over 2. I trust that that makes sense. Um, it's pretty complex stuff, really. That's why it's, it's worth taking time on. That's why I had to take a moment just to make sure that I knew what I was doing. Um, keep the questions coming in. I will continue doing the best that I can and continue wishing you the best and to encourage you please for goodness sake upload your work on teams let me see what you're doing take care and i'll talk to you later